This man was a genius. Listen to him play. I'm glad you like it, Grandpa. Oh, I must say, I'm a very spoiled man. Chuck Berry and the complete history of the Peloponnesian War. Well, sure, because a partial history would skip all the dirty stuff. <laughs> I especially like the way you wrap the books in a bow tie. It's very, very clever. Huh, I thought it would be appropriate. And of course, you're not forgetting your favorite gift. Oh, yes, my beautiful humidor for my beautiful wife. Thank you. No, thank you. It's been a wonderful birthday. Mm. Would you like some more champagne? Oh, why not? <laughs> One of the porch lights is burned out. Perhaps the simple act of glancing outside a window once in a while might have alerted someone to the situation. Graham? Trix, is that you? Bobby, what a surprise. Mom, did you know Grandma was coming? Oh, my God. OK, no, seems like a safe answer. Emily, come here. Come say hello to this delightful creature that just walked in. Oh, my God. Come on, let's see if she tries to make a break for it. Emily, did you know about this? Why, no, I didn't. Well, I'm floored. Good. <laughs> hello, Lorelai. Hello, Grand. Good to see you. You well? I'm well. You working? I'm working. You're single? I'm single. By choice, or do you scare the men with your independence? Actually, I scare them with my mini pearl impression. The lady with the hat. Rory, as soon as I get settled, I want to hear all about your schooling and your college plans. OK, Grant. Well, Emily, I don't know if you realize it or not, but it's not proper to receive guests in the foyer. It puts one in the awkward position of having to invite oneself in. Uh, yes, uh, please. I I'm sorry. Please, come in. This one. <laughs> what is she doing here? She's visiting. She didn't call. She always calls. Well, it's Dad's birthday. She wanted it to be a surprise. But I haven't prepared. I haven't shopped or set up the guest room. And, oh, God, her horrible gifts are still in the basement. What do I do? Leave them there. But it's too late to do anything about that now. Come on. <clears throat> oh, Emily, you're still here. Yes, of course I'm still here. Can I get you some champagne? Well, if you wish me to be violently ill tomorrow, absolutely. Do not answer that. I've got you covered, Trix. Now, tell me what on earth you're doing here. You didn't travel all the way from England just for my birthday. Oh, I think your birthday is a good enough reason to travel all the way from England. <laughs> However, it did also happen to coincide with some business I needed to attend to. What kind of business? Well, for the past year, I've been renting my home in Hartford to a group of musicians. They recently moved out, so I had to come check on the house and secure a new tenant. What kind of musicians? A rock and roll group of some sort. I believe they call themselves Corn. You rented your house to Corn. That's so cool. They were fine tenants, took wonderful care of the place. They planted some lovely tulips in the front yard. So, Mom, if you're going to be here for a while, I can plan some things for you to do, some outings you might enjoy. Like what? Like the Arboretum. I have no desire to spend an entire day with plants, Emily. I'm not a bee. Besides, I already know what I would like to do. I would like to see where Lorelei works. The inn? I thought we could all have dinner there. Oh, well, sure, that would be great. Wonderful. Tomorrow night, then. Oh, well. What? It's just that tomorrow night we were planning to go to this winter carnival at the high school. But we can skip it. Absolutely not. Rory, you're a young person who works hard. It's equally important to have fun. You go to the carnival. Thank you. <laughs> Lorelai, you've had enough fun in your life. And then some. Dinner will be for the grown-ups. Now. How is the birthday going? Wonderfully. They're spoiling me rotten. Emily got me the most beautiful humidor. It's from 1917 and was owned by a lieutenant in World War I. You know, your father had a humidor that was owned by Victor Hugo. Really? I still have it if you'd like it. Oh, I'd love it. Fine. I'll take care of it as soon as I get back to London. Now, if you will excuse me, I should like to freshen up. I'll make sure the guest room's ready. Oh, I can do that, Emily. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> Emily, I expect to return in 20 minutes. That should give you enough time to pull my gifts out of storage and place them around the room as if they actually stand there all year. You want some help with those gifts? Yes, please. <laughs> 